This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Lanier versus Hepburn. You all have been together for two years. You engaged, you met on the job, but this relationship is on hold. Everything is on hold because of allegations of cheating. Yes. How does that make you feel? It makes me very angry, Your Honor, because I'm very, you know, I'm a very doting girlfriend. I do everything I can, you know, to make him feel special, and I do everything I can to make this relationship work. I don't do anything outside of boundaries, and I feel like I deserve the same respect. And you're not getting it? I'm not getting it. All right, Mr. Hepburn, these are some strong words from your fiance. What you got to say? Well, I'm here today just to prove my innocence. I'm not cheating. You're you not know, cheating? Nope. I love her to death. You know, she makes all type of accusations, but when I prove my innocence today, she'll know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not ready yet. She ain't She's ready. not ready yet, but she she's received okay. the gift. He, he used to bring me sunflowers all the time. Ah. He used to give me gifts and stuff, so this is nothing new. And <laughs> <laughs> Woo, the way what? you said yeah. it though, I'm like because, it ain't nothing new. Because Man. your honor, it's because I feel like he only does these things when he's guilty. When he when he's done ah. something. So the guilt gift. That's, yes. that's that's not true, Yana. I, I I do it for her all the time. You know, she just to just to show her my appreciation. You know, I, I appreciate her. You know, well, when you first met her, what was it that you saw in her that made you say, "I want to take this to another level"? Um, she's a great person. She just she just guided me in the right direction. She'd been guiding me before we was even serious. So you know, and and she's a beautiful person. He says these things, and then he does the complete opposite. That's what I'm not understanding. Like he'll say these things, and then he does things that don't make me feel like that. So he's talking the talk, but not walking the walk. Exactly. All right. What is it that were warning signs that something was going on? One situation is I went through his phone. He told me to go get it. I went through. I took you know the opportunity, like every woman should. <laughs> <laughs> and I found some text messages that were kind of crazy, you know, some girl that said, oh, you know, I, I want to see you, you know, I need you to call me back or whatever. And I'm just like, hold on. But I you know, you know what they say, if you go looking, you're going to find something, too. And I That's wanted, the other part. Yes, Your Honor, and I wanted to find something, so I did. And I called, <laughs> I called her, I called, yep. the, I called the girl, and she said, I said, who is this? And guess what she said? I don't... I, this I'm is, his woman. <laughs> who are you? No, she said, you need to ask the owner of this phone who this is. Ooh. Who's this woman who is bold enough to tell your fiancé, go ask who the owner of this phone who I am. It's, go ask who I am. It's one, it's one of my exes, my troublesome exes. She just said, hey, it was like a friendly conversation. It wasn't nothing sexual or nothing. It was just... Okay, but do you hear the words that are coming out of your mouth? Hey! <laughs> because the words that are coming hear? out of your mouth... Do you hear? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. No, but first, Nicole, first Nicole, was, like, correct me if I'm wrong. No, tell me. You tell well, me. First of all, this is the worst of ex. You know, I don't want to have nothing to do with her. But yeah. And then... I'm texting back and forth with her. See? Mr. Color gets it. She's just saying hi. She's just saying, so he, I'm just saying hi back and, you know... And it's all friendly. And yeah. that's, that's not even the only story. Okay. There's, there's, there's another story. Tell us more. So, when I need to find something, guess where I go? The phone. I went through his phone again. I mean, it's my phone. And I you found... Know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's my phone. I... I went through his phone again, and I found another text message story that was a little bit different. You know, it, okay. was, it, was, it was more of a... You know, basically, I have proof. It was, ah. it was more, oh, I would like to, you know, take it to the next level, basically. More, more explicit, just... explicit Ex language. It was okay. very explicit language. Ron, would you grab that for us, yes, please? Ron. Very explicit language. Thank oh. You. These are text I'm... messages you found yes. on Mr. Hepburn's phone. <laughs> on his phone. Between Mr. Hep... Hepburn and another woman. Exactly. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Mr. Hepburn writes, I've been thinking about you. Me too, sexy. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about blanking oh. you all day. <laughs> Oh. I miss the way you do that. Oh. Not correct so that's if I'm from... wrong, but that sounds a little funny to me, so... And this is from a 770 number. Yes. All right, but you found more. I found a lot more. Because this is from a 305 number, and the other woman says... I like that picture. It looks yummy. And Mr. Hepburn responds, 
You will love it in person. Send me more videos and pics of you. You found this in his phone. I found it in his phone. I used to work, I used to work with the person. You know, I just told her I like how she worked. I so want to see her work you? some more. She so, stopped, she so what videos video. and pics did she send you? Um, what they look like? She sent me a video of her twerking. Mm. <laughs> I... And do you see what I'm saying? You see all these All said? right. So what, Miss Hepburn? I'm... What 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 picture did you send her that made her go, ooh, you yummy? What, um, what did you send her? I didn't send her no pictures. She... <laughs> it, it says, says I, I like, like that, that picture. picture. It, it looks, looks yummy. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. did you send her a picture I of? I sent her a picture of my Snickers ball. <laughs> And, okay. And she, well, your candy bar. Yeah, my candy. Your candy bar. You sent her a picture of your candy bar, okay? This is exactly what I'm talking about. And yeah. basically, it that's what I'm trying to find out. It was I just asked conversation, y'all. So you said that what? you did not give her the candy bar. I didn't ball. give her the candy okay, bar. You just showed her a picture of it. I showed her a picture, but I didn't give it to her. You say it's just conversation. Yeah. Look at the next. It says, I've always, send me, I always go through his phone. Send me more videos and pics of you. Which means I've already gotten some. I really like them. Yeah. So send me more. Um, she she was twerking, Your Honor, and she just kept sending me pictures it of her twerking. It doesn't matter what she was doing. It doesn't matter what she was doing. You shouldn't have had any I'm videos. I'm not a man if I don't look. You shouldn't look. have had any pictures. You shouldn't have had none of that. I may or may not twerk from Judge Cutler. <laughs> if he doesn't want me to continue to do that, he ain't gonna say send me more pictures of it. <laughs> you want me to continue to twerk? All oh, right. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay, we'll, we'll talk, talk later. That. All right, do you have any other evidence I have that Mr. Hepburn yes, is yes, cheating? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right, talk to him. I, like, I, I, I found some pictures, you know, and... We got some pictures. I, you got some pictures, and Robert, I would like yeah. for get those photos. the audience to see what I'm talking about, because... So, so where did you find these pictures? I found these pictures where I find everything. On his phone? In his phone. His phone is his worst enemy. Oh, my God. Is it? Who throw is this? Phone, throw the whole phone away, honestly. Who is yeah. this? Is it always Mr. Hepburn? Is, is this it, Mr. Hepburn? Is that, is that you, Mr. Hepburn? Um, I... It you might know, be... You know what that is? What I'm looking at is a male member. Three times. When you found him in his phone, what did you do? I didn't tell him anything. I just screenshotted everything and I decided that I was gonna... I was gonna prove to him that I have, uh, you know, I need... I, I, I need answers. You know, I need to collect enough evidence as much as I can so that when he comes with the side stories and when he comes with the extra, you know, I have something to give to him because he does that a lot. He'll, he'll, he'll make up a story for what he did, for why he did what he did, or he'll make up some excuse, and it's not funny. This is upsetting you. It shouldn't upset her it, because... It shouldn't upset me. <laughs> it shouldn't upset her. Oh, t- really? He says it shouldn't upset her. Tell Mr. Hepburn <laughs> why this is upsetting you. <laughs> upsetting me because I don't do these things. <laughs> Yana, she, she, she is just jealous. She highly jealous. She think, she think I'm sleeping with everybody. We just moved here, and she think I'm sleeping with somebody here. I don't know nobody. But she think I'm sleeping with somebody everywhere we go. I could be talking to a 60-year-old lady. She gonna think that I'm sleeping with this lady. But you changed the passport on your phone. You got texts from your exes. You got explicit photos on your phone. However you using your social media is tearing your relationship apart. And he don't get it. That's what the issue is. I I, I keep trying to tell her, you know, she... You keep keep, telling me... She said I changed my password on my phone, but, you know, she know every password. Because other than that, how she getting in the phone? I gotta know every password. You are focused on the wrong thing. You real brother. sneaky. Well, you real sneaky. He real sneaky. Miss Lanier, because you think that Mr. Hepburn is using his social media and his digital media to be unfaithful, we've invited a friend of the court, someone who has experience dealing with social media, digital media, celebrity relationships. At this time, we would like to invite into the courtroom Deputy Editorial Director at BuzzFeed, Mr. Matt Stapera. Ron, would you please escort him into the yes, courtroom? Yes, Sean. Mr. Stapera, i have you go right up to the witness stand, sir. How are you? Hey, Your Honors. Good it's to good see to see you. you. Nice to see you, too. So, what are some of the most 
outrageous celebrity stories that you've seen at BuzzFeed? I've been studying celebrities for 10 years, been writing about them for that long. And, you know, recently we've been seeing a lot more cases of people posting uh, screenshots of conversations that they've had on social media, which then gets them in trouble. But <laughs> everyone's screenshotting, everyone has a phone, and everyone's blasting it out because everyone wants their five minutes of fame. So that person that you're sending those uh, screenshots to, they're definitely going to expose you. So what are some of the social media fails as it pertains to relationships? You have to set rules. So you have to say, OK, for example, uh, if you're not OK with posting pictures with other women on social media, you just shouldn't do it. You have to listen to her, and you have to create those rules together. Mm -hmm. Because with social media, everyone's looking into those pictures and studying every single detail, where your arm is, what you're looking at, what's in the background. And you really have to be careful about what's actually in the content that you're posting. Because once it goes online, it's there forever. In particular, if there are pictures of your candy bar, you would need to make sure where it's going and who it's going to. Is that correct? You know, I think we should just leave candy bars off social media. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good idea. What other advice would you give this young couple about navigating social media as they possibly move forward in their relationship? You know, we have a problem. Everyone's on their phones these days. And sometimes you just have to put the phone down. And so if you just create those rules and create, OK, well, we're going to be on our phones for an hour this time. And then, you know, at dinner, we're going to put our phones in the middle of the table and just keep them there. Just creating those ground rules so that you know it's just going to piss everyone off if you break them. Yeah. This is wonderful advice. Thank <laughs> you so much for stopping by and, and hanging out with us, helping us and helping them. Will you hang around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I'm sitting here. Well, Mr. Cutler, I think we have enough to talk about here. <laughs> we have the sexy text messages and then the pictures of his candy bar or his privates. And so you have said that if you find out that I'm he leaving. is in fact cheating, I'm you're going, done. I'm you're going. out. I'm going back to Miami. I'm done. I'm you're... not gonna deal with this headache no more. I'm done. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No. And Mr. Hepburn, you realize what's on the line, don't you? Okay. I, I don't want her to leave. You know, I, I'm... I understand you don't want her to leave, but I'm asking you, do you realize what's on the line here? I, I really do realize... That your relationship, your I, engagement, your future with this woman is on the line right now, here today. Yes. You understand that? Yes, Judge. Right. Well, to get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf into the courtroom to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort Mr. Wolf in. Guy Wolf. I have to right sure. monitor, sir. Sure. How are you, Mr. Wolf? I'm wonderful, Your Honor. How are you? Good, good. Glad to see you today. You as well. Uh, would you share for the court record and for the litigants <laughs> what voice analysis is. Forensic voice analysis is a form of lie detection that measures the spoken word and the frequencies in a voice. When you are deceptive, one of those frequencies goes away and it shows up a certain way on our computer. How are you feeling, Mr. Hepburn? I'm feeling good. All right. I feel good. Uh, let's take a look at the first question that you asked Mr. Hepburn. Since your relationship began in February of 2017, have you had sexual intercourse with the woman who called your phone and your fiance, Ms. Lanier, confronted? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? He said no, Your Honor. But what's interesting here is that he confessed to having sex with this person prior to his relationship with Ms. Lanier. Why wouldn't okay. you tell me that? I, I told you that. No, you did not. I did. Why are you talking to people that you had sex with? I'm... OK. But looking at the question, it says, since your relationship began... So you're confessing that you, <clears throat> prior to the relationship, had a relationship. Yeah. But we still need to know, have you had sex with this woman? since your relationship with Ms. Lanier. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. I told you. I told 
told you. Let's take a look at that final question. Since your relationship began in February of 2017, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your fiance, Miss Lanier? No. What did the forensic analysis determine? The forensic analysis determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. I told you. I told you. See? Woo! See, I told you. Ooh! I told you. <laughs> That's the first real smile we've seen from you. <laughs> because if you, you see how it is when you talk to him, you can't get a straight answer. It, it's like, I don't, I didn't know what else I, to do. I told her I love her. I'm being honest. That I don't love mean nothing. Well, okay. Matt has given you all some great advice. And we echo the advice. And that is, you all need to sit down together and say, this is what I want you to do or don't want you to do. Yeah. So that you all are both happy. Y'all are really kind of cute together. So I'm glad things are, are that, that you found out not only the truth, but good truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a great relationship. Court is adjourned. Right. I oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I got everything that I was looking for and more. I'm very, very pleased. I'm ready to move forward.